everybody, Canadian Trapper here, August 16th, uh, got a call yesterday from a gentleman, he's got a farm, uh, his wife was outside, she looked up, uh, two coyotes came in her yard right in the middle of the day, uh, grabbed a couple chickens and uh, proceeded to eat them, and then uh, they looked at her, she didn't know what to do, so she just kind of backed up and uh, went back in the house, so her husband contacted me yesterday. So we're going to go out there today and take a look. Um, we're going to see if we can't get rid of these coyotes for this family. They've got some livestock around and they've got children and pets and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go. They've got, uh, I think, about 100 acres of property. So we're going to go back and take a look in and see if we can't uh, find out where these uh, coyotes are coming in. I'm going to try a couple dirt hole sets for the uh, first time. And I also brought a bunch of snares and stuff. But we're going to check out the situation when we get back there and uh, we'll see what we're uh, dealing with here. Well, here we are on the farm. There's where the coyotes were, right up in here. There's the fence and the goats are just on the other side. She said the coyotes came down here. This field, weren't scared of her at all. Came down to the bottom of the field. Sat right at the end of that road and looked at her. And uh, when we, she came down to show me what was going on and where she saw them, this is new as well. So, we got a whole bunch of black feathers um, from the coyotes. Looks like they got another one uh, she didn't know about. So we got high terrain here. We got a road coming in here. Um, so the plan is I'm going to put a dirt hole set right on the end of this point. And I'm going to put a dirt hole set right by that rock with the rock as my backing. But because we're on a farm and there's uh, not, not anything else around. Um, we also found this nice trail, which she said isn't from any of her animals. And uh, under further investigation on this trail, we found feathers. So I'm presuming that the coyotes are using this trail. There's some feathers right there. Some feathers right down in right there. And if you come back up, we got another feather right there. And then if you keep coming down this trail, more feathers on the trail. And that trail goes right down. You can see it. It goes right up the other side. So that trail's getting some snares for sure. Um, she stated the coyotes looked very thin and one had no tail. So I'm guessing they're sick, um, and that's why they've come so close to this farm for food. It's uh, a little abnormal for this time of year for coyotes to be taking those kind of chances to go that close to a residence and uh, grab a free meal, especially right in the middle of the day. So something's up. So we're definitely going to trap these animals, hopefully catch them, and uh, we'll find out what's going on. All right, so I got my, my trap bed dug out. There's the hole I got in there. So I'm doing the nine and two, back nine inches over two. So I'm gonna drive my disposable stake in and stuff and I'll get the trap set and bedded and then I'll turn the camera back on. Well, there's my trap. I got the wax paper over top of it. It's pushed down bedded. There's my hole. So I'm gonna to continue to uh, pack that down around that trap and I'll show you when it's all finished. Well, all right guys, there's my first set. I get to bait it. I got my trap bedded in there. There's my hole. Like I said, it's my first time doing this, so let's hope my two sets made. It's super hot. But what I decided to do, I've seen this on some of these YouTube videos, guys taking feathers and putting them on their sets. So I grabbed up some feathers here, and I'm gonna bring them over to my set, just as kind of an attractant. Set them down around that hole there. Just like that. All right, and there was another one I don't think the lady saw, the owner of the farm, but there's a bunch of feathers over here I just found too. So it looks like uh, they got more than she thought. So I'm gonna take some of these feathers as well, and I'll show you where my other set is. My other, 
The second set went better than the first. I almost caught myself about five times. Knowing where your pan is, I guess, is important, like they say. All right, so I got some nice feathers here. So I'll go show you where my other set is. I decided instead of putting one right next to the other, I seen this nice little piece of trees here for backing. Chuck some bait in that hole. And here too, I'm gonna put some feathers around there. This is an attractant. Seeing if that's what they're going for. Maybe they'll think there's some food in there. Well, here's hoping. A little bit of this grass away. There. All right, so there's my dirt hole sets. So here we are on the other side of the altar bushes. The trail goes down there. It continues through all the way around here. I got my snare. I got one snare right there. And the trail continues through this way. And I kept following it for a little ways. If you were to continue, that's where I set the other snare going out into the field there. But look at this. There's coyote. Coyote dung. Dead chicken feathers. Dead chicken feathers. So, they're definitely coming through here. My other snare is just on the other side of there. I'll show you when I get to the other side. But that trail goes right down through them trees right there. Like I showed you on the other side there. Let's just take a walk around. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Chicken feathers everywhere. Well, here we are. Our traps have been set for a couple days. The uh, farmer's been checking the leg holds from the top of the hill here. Uh, hasn't been seeing anything, so that's good. So we're gonna take a walk down over here. I'm hoping that uh, because there's been nothing in the leg holds, that we got one in a snare. So, uh, like the fence is off. All right. So we got some pigs coming here. One reason why she wants these coyotes gone. There's another reason. She got some chicks and chickens down over the bank. I'll try to stay over to the side away from where my leg holds are. As there's a rock, you can kind of see it down there. The other one's a patch of trees. See, nothing's been around the rock. Nothing at that one. Mind you, this one's been tripped. Well, that's bothersome. Oh, I hear some noise in the woods. I might have one in a snare. Okay, there's one of my snares. I got one over there, I can see the Tree's moving. I'm gonna go get the, my gun. All right, guys. Well, we got one in the snare. I think it's one. The trees are moving. Uh, I seen it. I'm gonna move over in here. Come around it. See if we can't find out just exactly what we got here. See the trees moving in front of us there. Hope it's a coyote. I 
Can't see it in there. It's a coyote. It's right there. I don't know where he is. He's barking there. Oh, I gotta get the gun ready. Well, the farmer's some happy anyway. Oh, there he is. He's looking at me. He's the one without the tail. I need to reel him in somehow. Oh, there he is. I can just see his face. I can just see him through the trees. Yeah. Let me get him out of the snare. I'm gonna go over here. There he is. There's the happy farmer up there. And there's one dead coyote. Let me put another round in it. I'll go up and check and we'll get him out and take a look. Well, I must say, that was a very lucky catch. I only had him by a foot. I had the nine inch loop set nine inches high and I caught him on the foot. Anyway, we're gonna go get rid of this guy. Got a happy farmer, we're gonna reset. I'm thinking the other one that was with him probably got scared away and that was it. So, some little revenge for the chickens. Well, that was pretty exciting. I didn't expect it to still be alive, but when I seen that tree wiggling back there, I knew I had something. I mean, uh, it's not my fault to get caught by the foot. Bottom line is, it got caught. Uh, the farmer's very happy. Uh, you know, that definitely was one of the ones she saw, had no tail. So, anyway, I got another snare down here. There was nothing in it, so I'm gonna go back and remake that dirt hole set, and uh, hopefully we'll catch the other one. But uh, for now, thanks for watching.